Okay, hi again everybody. This is Mrs. Stone. This is the second video going over the classroom textbook, the interactive science textbook. This particular uh, video covers the actual interactive part of the textbook. As I mentioned in the first video, uh, we're not able to write or type into the book uh, the online book. But what you can do and what will happen with each student is they will be given a login to the My Science Online website where they can actually interact with the book. I will be giving out the information to the kids about their login and that information will also be given to the parents so that, that you will have it and uh, I will probably give that information out the same day that I hand out the textbook. So here is the page for chapter one. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, in the interactive, the actual interactive part of the book and I will show the kids how to get in here and how to move around in it. Again, this is rather the same picture that we were looking at before. What does it mean to be a scientist? And you have tabs across the top of the page and for each tab there are sub sections. So, <clears throat> again we have the big questions. So you can click on that and then on the right hand side you have your navigation tools tools and so you're going to ask you're asked the question and you're given a space to answer it and this is where you would actually answer the question where in the book there was nowhere to actually write that information or type that information in in this interactive part of the book or interactive part of the website this is where you would actually type in your answer so let's make an inference what information could scientists learn by watching these sharks? Using complete sentences. Scientists can learn about their feeding habits and how they socialize with each other. And then you write it a little more if you want to. Click on next and it finishes up for you. Anything you do here along these tabs and in these tabs any work you type in you're doing it as an assignment when you're finished with the assignment the page will open up and say are you done and you can say yes I am done or no I'm not done if you are done you click yes and it will send, a, send me a note to tell me that you have, you have completed the assignment and I will then grade the assignment for each chapter there is something called untamed science. That's a video. So for chapter one, the question is what is science anyway? And <clears throat> you first ask a, answer a question. What do you think when you hear the word science? I think about how humans interact with their environment. This is stone cannot type today, cannot spell. Okay, so I've answered the question, and then you're going to watch a video. <clears throat> I also have these videos on a disc, and I usually show them at the beginning of the lesson, that particular chapter, and then if you want to watch the video a second or third time, or as many times as you want, it is here online for you to see. It's usually broken up in a couple or sometimes three pieces, depending on the length of the video and it has this really cool opening that all the kids seem to like. Okay, that's just a part of it, but they're really cool videos. These uh, six young people who do these videos are all scientists, 
they are specialists in different areas and they break down the lesson and the topic and put it in words that the kids can understand. Okay, so after they've watched the video, uh, the student can then check their understanding of what they just saw. And this is the same as what was in the book. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, questions about observation and and concluding, etc. You would type your answer in here, whatever you're going to type. So the question is, how did Andy investigate the problem that he had? He you read the story, you answer the question, and when you're finished, you move on to the next thing. There are vocabulary skills again, same as what was in the book. This is the information that was in the book and you can type in the answer here for that. There are also vocabulary flashcards. If I can get them to open. And with the vocabulary flashcards you have your lesson cards. These are all the cards for the lesson that you're working on in this chapter. And they're also your own cards if you want to <clears throat> get definitions of other words found in that chapter or in that particular lesson, you can write down that information and create your own cards. Okay? And so to study, you will just go through and click and get your information. Okay, under unlocking the big question or the big Q, all three lessons are found here and you're just going through the same as what was in the book. What are the skills of science? Answer that question and move along. If you don't answer the questions, it'll go back. It'll tell you. You forgot to answer the question. Go back to page two, etc. Same for lesson two and lesson three. And then you're able to explore the big question. And this usually involves a more in-depth look at, at the topic where you're applying what you know. What question would you ask about whale songs? What do you know about whales? What would you ask about the why do whales sing? Would be something I would ask. And put your answer in. What is a hypothesis that might answer your question? I don't know. If I asked a marine biologist about whale songs, I would learn about their communication skills. And then there's one third, there's a third question. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. You would then answer the big question. Again, just one question. What does it mean? What do you think it means to be a scientist? And then you will apply this information. Here is a particular scenario. How would you answer this question based on what you just learned? You just learned a certain amount of vocabulary. You learned certain things about this particular topic. How would you answer the question based on what you've learned? Okay, so that is what is going on with this particular um, piece of the technology. All the students will receive passwords to be able to get onto this website where if they wanted to answer the questions here or they have misplaced their book or don't have their book to complete the answers or if they prefer to answer the questions here they're able to use this particular um, website to do that again the video is available for them to watch at any time and to review for quizzes and tests okay thanks a lot for joining me to watch this video if you have any questions again please make sure you can leave uh, to leave me a note or to see me in class have a good day